Hi, welcome, and I hope you're doing well. Here I'll be doing a better replacement on this HP laptop. Let me show you the keyboard. So on the top left corner here, you can see that the keyboard is not even. And what happened is that the battery, the internal battery is swollen. So it's bulging and pushing up the keyboard from the inside out. So that you can see it is very hard and the keyboard is, you know, um, is being pushed from the bottom from the inside out now also if you feel like your computer is not holding the charge uh, the battery dies off very quickly that is also the sign that it is time for the battery replacement now let me turn it around and show you the model number this is the HP 15-AU123CL so I'll be doing a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to replace uh, the bad battery here for this HP. All you need is just a Phillips screwdriver and let's go ahead and remove all the screws. The two screws here on the top left and right are a little bit thicker and the rest of other screws are normal screws. They are a bit shorter. Alright, so if you're watching this video and you feel like your battery is not holding the charge or if you have the similar problem like the battery is swollen uh, and you're trying to follow my video to, to get this thing, uh, the battery re replaced, uh, I really appreciate that for watching the, the video and if you can do me a small favor by liking the video and maybe subscribe to the channel, uh, that helps me, keep me motivated to make more of these sort of videos uh, in the near future. Now, once that all screws are removed, the next thing you need to do is to remove the hidden screw. There's one hidden screw right here underneath the rubber. So once you peel the rubber off, you can get to this hidden screw right here. Okay, so let's put that on the side. Make sure the rubber are still sticky. Now once you remove this screw, you can actually slide open your DVD drive. You can just slide it to your right, that's how you remove the DVD drive. At this point right now, I'm going to start to pry open the plastic. And I like to work my way from the bottom right. I'm using a metal uh, prying tool. If you have a plastic one, use the plastic. Uh, so that you're not making scratches on the body But if you do not have it, that's okay What we're trying to do is we're just trying to separate the plastic uh, By sticking in the prying tool and just pry it open You can hear that little uh, crack noise That's normal We're just prying open the plastic Now, um, try not to stick the prying tool too deep because you do not want to break the internal part uh, the internal uh, part of the computer so you just want to have enough uh, room to pry it open and then once you have one corner is free of the, the base now we can close it and we can just start to wiggle and remove the plastic cover okay so there you have it I just removed the entire plastic cover at this point right now you can see that the computer is showing the entire motherboard the hard drive the RAM and this is the battery uh, as I was predicted the battery is bulging meaning it's swollen and it's pushing the keyboard from the inside out so the battery is, needs to be replaced. Now they do have some screws that hold on to the battery. So let's go ahead and remove them. All right. There are three screws. Now try not to use, try not to continue to use the bad battery because uh, using a bad battery is not good 
it might actually catch fire if it if it broken or if it breaks so the best is to change out the uh, a working battery now we need to disconnect the connector and this connector right here I'm just sliding it to my right and that's how I remove it okay there's no secure clipper or anything that holds on to the connector you just have to be gentle and slide it to your right and that's how you remove it some of the new battery comes with the uh, cable and some of them don't so make sure you want to save the cable and if the new battery doesn't come with it you can transfer this cable by simply pull away from your body so go that direction and that's how you remove the connector save the connector get yourself a new battery replacement and then reverse the process by installing the, the cable and back to this connector right here on your motherboard okay so um, if you're gonna ask me where can you buy the battery now I will have the battery in the link uh, in the description below the link is in the description below uh, what you need to look for you gotta look for this model here which it says BP 02XL or you can look up for the HP spare the number which is 8499090950 all right the battery size is not that big and if you click on the link that I provide you probably would direct you to Amazon or maybe eBay and you can find a replacement for this all right so make sure you save the cable as well now since I have the computer is open I just like to do some explanation or introductory if I may uh, just to let you know what is what what you're looking for if this is your first time uh, taking the computer apart now this is your CPU fan which is exhaust the heat from this um, heat sink so the, the heat is going to go that direction okay so if your CPU fan is very dusty mine is not that dusty but you can see like some dust and dry linen uh, hanging around the blade you want to come use a toothpick or your screwdriver to just kind of scrape it off clean it out a little bit and give the fan spin freely if you do not have um, or if you have the Aiken duster you can use the Aiken duster and just spray uh, the air to clean off the dust all right so this is your hard drive uh, the hard drive is what it stores all your information like your windows your program your pictures your documents your data everything is stored in this hard drive now this is a regular hard drive which means it spins it has a disc in it a disc platter uh, but if you want to have a better speed like performance speed uh, we recommend you to change out to a solid state drive SSD drive um, this is what we call RAM this is our DDR4 RAM and if you feel like uh, you need to increase your RAM you can actually upgrade to 16 and 16 so I think this is 8 and 4 which is 12 gigs and to remove the RAM by slim simply just push these two little metal clipper away from each other and then the RAM will just pop straight up and this is a 4 gigabytes RAM all right so um, so this is 4 and 8 which is 12 total you can do 8 and 8 16 um, that's pretty much it so I do not have anything else to explain in this video um, all, I, all I can say is if you have any question just comment below and if my video is uh, helpful and show you step by step on how to replace the battery uh, please just click the like button and that would appreciate and also yeah one thing I forgot to say um, if you're watching this video and because of the battery is not holding the charge just comment below and say hey I found your video uh, this is exactly what I'm looking for I needed a new battery and your video helps me to get it replaced and repaired so 
that's all I need to know. Make sure uh, I'm here with you all the time. So stay tuned, take care, and until next time. Bye-bye.